The Lamaru, written by Diana Kimpton, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. In the middle of the wilderness was a lamb. He was very small, very sad, and all alone. Ma, said the lamb, I want a ma. Not far from the middle of the wilderness was a kangaroo. She had lots of friends, plenty of relatives, and as much food as she wanted to eat. But she wasn't happy. She didn't have a baby. The kangaroo felt very sad. One day, she hopped away from her friends and relatives. She hopped all the way to the middle of the wilderness, and there she found the lamb. Ma, ma, said the lamb. The kangaroo loved him right away. She popped him in her pouch and hopped back to show everyone her wonderful new baby. The lamb felt safe in her pouch. He wasn't alone anymore and he was happy. He loved his new ma and his new friends and relatives. Only one thing worried him. He was different from everyone else. Everyone else in the family had smooth brown fur, but he was covered with thick white wool. Everyone else in the family could do huge jumps, but he could only do little ones. The lamb practiced his jumping every day. He jumped on his front feet. He jumped on his back feet. He jumped on all four feet together, but he couldn't jump higher at all. Maybe it's because my back legs are too short, thought the lamb. So he tried to make them grow. He pulled them. He pushed them. He even tried to stretch them, but they didn't get bigger at all. Then one day, not far from the middle of the wilderness, the lamb and his new family found an old house. It was empty. All the people had gone away and no one lived there anymore. The lamb went exploring. Beside the house, he found a shed. Inside the shed, he found a mattress. And inside the mattress, he found some springs. The lamb had an idea. He put a spring on each of his feet and tried to jump. Hooray, he yelled. His idea worked and he could jump really high. Boing! He jumped out of the shed. Boing! He jumped over the fence. Boing! 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 He jumped across the yard. He was so busy jumping that he didn't notice his ma was watching him. Look at me! Look at me! He shouted. I can jump just like you! His ma hopped out of the house wearing an old blanket. Look at me! Look at me! She shouted. I'm covered in wool just like you. The lamb stopped jumping. He looked at his ma and felt very sad. He couldn't see her arms. He couldn't see her brown fur. And worst of all, he couldn't see her safe, warm pouch. You don't look like my ma anymore, he cried. And you don't look like my lamb, cried his ma. The lamb looked down and saw that she was right. The springs were big and twisty. They had sharp, pointy ends. There was no way he could fit in his ma's pouch with them on his feet. The lamb pulled off his springs as quickly as he could. Then his ma threw away her blanket so they both looked like themselves again. The lamb jumped happily back into his ma's pouch for the very first time. He didn't mind being different. He didn't mind having a thick woolly coat, and he didn't mind not being able to do huge jumps. He was perfectly happy to be the only lamb in the world. The End